This is a very short reading from Treasures of Buddhism, a new translation with selected letters, edited by Harry Oldmeadow, published by World Wisdom in 2018. It's absolutely extraordinarily beautiful cover of the Buddha in a temple called Wat Phan Tao in Chiang Mai in Thailand. This is from page 60 to 62. One has heard it said that Buddhism, just as it needed at a certain moment in its history to find a new form, namely the Mahayana, should likewise in our day be, quote, rejuvenated in a manner in keeping with, quote, the spirit of our times. A statement, need one say it, that is false twice over. Firstly, because the Mahayana was not put together by men, nor did it seek to render itself pleasing to any age whatsoever. And secondly, because it constitutes for the humanity to which its message is addressed, the definitive expression of Buddhism, valid therefore until the end of the world and the coming of Maitreya. If our age, not because of its hypothetical superiority, but on the contrary because of its wretchedness, if our age requires a certain re-adaptation of the eternal message, this has been affected long since. Jodo, pure land is the final utterance, providential and infinitely merciful of this message. And since it addresses itself to the most wretched, nothing could surpass it in timeliness. The man of our time can lay claim to no spiritual originality other than a superabundance of distress to which the answer will be, by way of compensation, a secret outpouring of graces, provided that man does not close himself to the celestial will to save him. The greatest of all human miseries is a refusal to open oneself to mercy.